What's up, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Pray here on the Holy and Healthy YouTube channel. Let Us Pray is a weekly show that drops every Wellness Wednesday. And our goal is to motivate, educate, and inspire Christians to live a holy and healthy life through nutrition and wellness education and the Word of God. I'm James Tate. I'm a health minister here in the Washington, D.C. area. And this month, the month of April, is Stress Awareness Month, which we have covered the last three weeks, but it's also Minority Health Month. So I wanted to talk a little bit about minority health, but I'm not going to tell you what to eat, what not to eat today. I just want to focus on this scripture. The scripture of the week comes from Psalm chapter 103, verse 3. And in the New King James Version, it says, but we're going to start at 103, verse 1, 2, verse 3. And it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. In verse 3, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Now, in Minority Health Month, we're going to hear about how African-Americans suffer from this, that, and the third. They have the highest cases of this disease and that disease and every other disease. We've been hearing that for decades, that we have uh, the highest blood pressure. We have more diabetes. We have, you name it, we have it, and we have the most of it. But one of the things that I want to encourage you to do is to know the promises of God. There are over 7,000 promises from God in the Bible. And when you know his promises, you can lean on them. And you know that he is going to heal you. Just like it says in Psalm 103, verse 3, who forgives all your iniquities. It's number one, he will forgive you of all your sins and who heals all your diseases. Not one of your diseases, not a few of the diseases. He will heal all diseases. That's a promise. And there are so many other promises from God in the Bible. The thing is, is that we have to know what they are. So I want to encourage you to just memorize just a few promises from God. Whatever you're dealing with, there's a promise for it. And if you don't know where it is, you can just type in any search engine on the internet and type in Bible verses about whatever it is you're dealing with. And I'm sure you it will pop up a promise. Now, one of the things when, that it, when it comes to health is that God makes the promise. He will always hold up his end of the bargain, but you have to hold up your end as well. There's always work that we have to do. God is always going to do his part, and then the promise will be fulfilled. So in order to be healed of all your diseases, yes, he can touch you right now and take that disease away. But once he does, you have to hold up your end of the bargain. You have to do what you have to do to stay healthy. And we'll talk about that as the weeks go on. Um, but for today, I just wanted to focus on the scripture and the promises of God. There are over 7,000 promises. Make sure that you memorize at least one. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you receive a notification every time a new episode of Let Us Pray drops. This is Coach Tate signing out. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and your support and your prayers. And please continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you. I love you. Have a blessed week on purpose.